<clears throat> another room on Try Hack Me. This one is called Lian Wu, Liang Yu, whatever. Um, it's called the Beginners Level Security Challenge. Now I chose another easy room today to um, showcase some of the the skills needed to to pen test. Let me just uh, deploy the uh, VM and start the enumeration. So that's that's done. So we're gonna do some directory. So there's a website, you know, just reading about it and. There's a name, FTP password, and some file with SSH password in, and stuff like that. So, until we get to this part here, I'm pretty sure we are not meant to get any sort of uh, shell in the box. So, I suspect we're just gonna go through the web application as a, as a start. And what I'm basically gonna do is is enter the IP address. Now, I know it's probably not up yet, so let's go ahead and also remember to <laughs> to um, yeah, connect to OpenVPN and try hack me. You know, it's a typical thing. You forget to do that, and and of course stuff doesn't work. So we have this arrow, whatever page. Now let me have, let me go ahead and um, and copy the IP address, and then let's go ahead and start a in map scan, and it's gonna be just for the. Um, service enumeration and while I'll do that I'm gonna start up a go boss on directory and it's gonna be on this web page with the word list from dear let's just go ahead and remember if you watch my last room I talked about that you can use some other word lists um, that is going to find other things than just the actual uh, uh, just the normal you know folders and stuff so I'm gonna let this run for just a second and until then we're gonna sort of pause the video so I think it's uh, in map scan is done what we're gonna find here is the uh, FTP worth looking for. I think this particular version should be safe. There's probably uh, some anonymous login. <laughs> we have some SSH, a web page, some remote um, RPC bind, remote PC call. So that is something we might should look at. There's a <laughs> slash island, you know, I've never guessed that. I've never guessed that there would be some slash island folder like, like that, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, so it does talk about that we should you should you should find way to let you the the code word is. So let's go ahead and see if uh, is that the FTP password? It was not. Okay, just a wild guess. So let's see uh, what is the web directory you found. Well, I would guess. Uh, I wasn't expecting you to this moment. I'll meet you there. Go, go, go. Um, well, we did find something. Let's go ahead and just put Richie London and this weird. And they called it a code word. I have no idea what that means. So let's just stick to that. And we found it right here. All right. So let's go ahead and go back. All right, so let's go ahead and see that uh, if our scan found something else, it doesn't look like it. Anyways, let's just go back and see. Oh, a lot of text. Arrowverse, uh, having one of a huge fan first. Mandatory of knowledge of error series. I hope you enjoy. So we need to probably find some knowledge about Arrowverse and it's very common that programmers do have some sort of, you know, nerdy tendency to call something that they really like. So what I kind of think is... What did it tell us this was all about? Beginners level security channels, errors themed. 
Arrowverse. Let's go ahead and see what that is all about. Arrowverse series seven television series franchise The Flash Supergirl. Oh, I see. I am horrible at these kind of things. Uh, let's just see what should make up. So many. The Flash, Vixen, Supergirl, Ray, Black Lightning, Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> we might have chosen the wrong room of nerdness. <laughs> All right, let's just go back. Uh, did we find anything more? Because this is uh, beginning to get weird. Now, what we did talk about the last time is we used like the app and you went ahead and did the comment.txt one, then you would find the other weird folders that might be here. Now, these are not here for us to grab. Let's just let the index.html, yeah, that is the one we are looking at right now. But what I think when I, s let's see, when I, originally picked this room I think it said something like let's just go back and it says challenge go buster steganography so it did say steganography which basically means that there might be a a thing with this image here and this image here is called Liu Liu Wang or something like that. All right, let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and and choose a that we get and just pick that and let's do another terminal to now we have a chance to do a strings command. And do that on the the image, and basically what we're gonna do is just scroll through what we get for strings. Strings is a command that looks for strings in certain things like files and stuff like that, and it's 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 a wild shot. But when working with steganography, it's probably not a bad idea to just have a look at, you know. And it's, it seems like there's a lot of stuff here. Nothing much to go on. Usually they give us a small idea what you're looking for. Just going through all of this is... You could try stuff like, you know, and say grab flag, you know, and see it doesn't find anything. Or what about flash? Nothing. All right, so... I'm pretty sure that we wouldn't find anything particular on that that one. So, was there another one? Um, what about this? Do we have something here? No. No. So, let's just make sure that we don't have anything more going on. So, there's something called server status. I'm pretty sure I cannot access that because it's a the fall we yeah, are forbidden so all right hmm since we didn't find anything new I'm gonna go ahead and continue the the go buster scan but this time I'm gonna do it on the on the island so let's go ahead and well still need to probably distribute bit more the CPUs. I land and from that we're gonna go and see if we find something because we are kind of left in the dark right now. We could go ahead to the to the scan here and see we have a VFTP on then go to exploit DB and then say which kind of surprise do we know about that particular version and 
We only have this denial of service going on, and this is the same as the last time. We can't really use that for anything special at all. Um, so let's let's let let's leave this to run. And oh whoa, wow, what? What? Twenty one hundred. Let's go ahead and visit that then. How Queen Oliver finds his way to. Okay, it's a YouTube video embedded and says you well you you can avail your ticket. My dot ticket? Is there something I can do like this? No. What is on this video? I can I click it? Are you going to rig roll me or something? Mm. Videos unavailable. I'm getting a lot of weird suggestions, so let's just stick to that. Let's continue once again and say. And let's then add the uh, the 2100 drive. I mean, sorry, the directory. <clears throat> I'll do that one more, one more time. I'm gonna leave it for a while and pause the video. No, no reason for us to look at this. All right, so it's been running for quite a while now and usually it's a bad sign. So I'm thinking, we did see that we have this can you avail your can you pick up whatever we're gonna say like your dot ticket so there's a slight chance that this has something to do with some um I wouldn't say necessarily a directory but it could be a file so if there's a file uh with a name of something with dot ticket need to find out pretty quick so the way we could do that I'm gonna stop this and go ahead and use GoBuster and there is something called isn't it GoBuster that got that command mm. I remember something about adding a string to go bust uh, wasn't it like dax dash x or something mm. let me just have a look again what did he write Thread lists, both thread in numbers, concurrent threads, quite more fine containing patterns. Mm. What if I just do it and say like this? Just add on the the, the ticket extend. Oh, extensions. Yeah. As I say, GoBuster got the worst documentation. It's so bad. Um, this what this should do is try and look for stuff that is also containing the dot ticket word. So, if any luck at all, we would probably get a hit this way. Now, I'm kind of out of options at the moment. We would need something more than this because. Just having an, an image or something like that isn't going to be enough. What I'm thinking we could spend the time doing is see if we have the tool called stake hide. And we do not. So let's go ahead and install it. Stake hide is a, is a text based tool for, uh, for what. Um, 
um, for Linux. <laughs> it, it's based for steganography. What we could do is do like stick hide and just look at the things. So if we're gonna do stuff like um, extractions and stuff using the stack hide, basically we're gonna use the extract uh, command and then we are gonna pick the file from SF selected stable file. So what we could do is uh, say stick hide. I know we hide show, you know, I, that is extract S SF and then do that file we found before into password. So it would seem there is some sort of password going on. Uh, we did the get something and we could just try, you know, getting this and pasting it in and you know, so that is something we should probably think about. I know it, it maybe, it, oh, if the file format is not supported, so we need some sort of P JPEG or something like that. Now I have the tool ready, let's go ahead and see what we got so far. Cross our fingers. Okay, whoa. Green arrow. Isn't that a marvel? To Anyways, forget about marvel. I'm gonna copy paste this. I'm gonna guess this is done. And say, this is our new room. Something special there. Uh, it's a queen's gambit. We have something here, right? We don't know what it is. Um, it's probably some base or something encoded. It doesn't, it's too short to be, you know, a hash. So, um, there's a tool for Linux. I think it's called which hash or something like that. Uh, which hash, no. Oh. Was it again? Hash, hash, hash identifier. Yeah, we could do that and put that in here. You know, I'm not thinking we, we get anything at all. It's not found at all. So, yeah. So if you ever find a hash one day, you could enter it by using the. Uh, where was it again? It's gone. Yeah, hash identifier. And then put the the hash there. But um, this is not a hash. It's probably some base something. So what I'm thinking we should do is go ahead and launch CyberChef. It's a nifty tool for encoding, decoding, and stuff like that. Let's put in this mishmash. And it doesn't look like, well, let's see base 64. Definitely not that. So, um, what about another base? Um, let's see. Where do we hide them these days? Uh, do, 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 do. Base. Base 32 from base. Okay, okay. So basically, we can just scroll through them all and see what's happened. What? Must be between 2 and 36. Well, big. Working at all? It seems not. From base 32. No. Next one is 58. Uh, it could be. It could be. Let's just keep for now. 62. No. 85. You know what? I think this 
It looks like it says, says like hood. Try hack three hot whatever. I'm go I'm gonna take this just for now and see we have. This is that. If that is a username, or this is a username, that could be a password. You know, I think from what we have right now, um. We got something. So it's very normal when you get something on Try Hack Me in the room. We're not supposed to go further down because then we might hit a rabbit hole. You know, rabbit hole is one of the things that lead us to um, keep looking for something and it's just getting us further and further away from the actual target. I think, or the goal, you're going to say, I think we're going to stick to this and go ahead and. Do a. We had SSH, so let's do SSH. Um, Liang, you. What the f? I a. Stop. It's gonna be 10, 10, 25, 241. I say yes. I don't have a password. Let's go ahead and try this. There we go. I'm gonna right click and say copy and everything. Nope. That's not it. Let's then do Vigilante. Let's delete all this and then let's go ahead and try that password here. <laughs> nope. We also have FTP. Let's try that. That's a really good chat that this is this is FTP um, name. Vigilante. Password. Let's go ahead and just try whatever we get here. Looking successful. So let's see what did we. So okay, we know that Vigilante FTP login success is Vigilante slash this part here. So that's that's good. We have something called Leave Me Alone, Queen's Gambit, and AA. Well, let's just. Get it all. Can we do that? Um, get a oh, remember we couldn't do PNG files before. That is a good clue. Let's stick to this for now and let's just quit. No, let's not quit. Let's go ahead and do what's this? This one with the it was this one. So let's go ahead and clear LS. We had the AA dot there. So we're gonna take the stick hide and then instead of this we're gonna do AA JMP passphrase. So maybe the same passphrase is the one we got here, let's see. With that passphrase, so maybe what about that? So we know it works. What about that? No. I think it's a pretty good idea to download the other files now because we don't have the password. Let's go ahead and do FTP. The passphrase is. And then get. Let's take. Leave me alone. And then we're gonna get the Queen's Gambit as well. Good. I'm gonna clear. Go back here. And. Um, Alright, so let's pick the one that is. Ugh, I hate these kind of. Let's pick this one first. Leave me alone. And I think what we're gonna do is uh, can we have an exif tool? Let me just see my notes. 
Um, probably not. Uh, apt get install exif tool. Yes. Exif tool is a great small little tool to view headers and meta information on files. Exif tool leave me alone. And what we get here is we have a version number and some names and we have an error on it. Which basically means that we could probably can't open it. Let's just have a look. Um, folder desk no not desktop. It's leave me alone. Queen's Gambit wasn't the one that I picked. Uh, and leave me alone. That's odd. It kind of doesn't want me to. Let me see if we can drag and drop it into the browser. Yeah, it contains some errors. We can do it with the other image, I'm pretty sure. Mm, let's see. Yeah. So this image is bucked. Um. What I could also just pretty fast try is run strings on leave me alone and see if we get anything. It's gonna be a long one, right? I'm gonna take the top because that is what I usually suspect. Um, I'm not even sure what to, what we're looking for, but I I'm I'm thinking they they hit some password using steganography or something like that. What I what I kind of want to do is to view the file in a hex editor, and I'm not sure this is a new installation. Exit to hex. Uh, Linux Kali hex editor. Uh, do we have anything good here? It looks like. List of hex editors. Sure, I like this one. Uh, what? <laughs> so, what is the software exec the hex edit? Now, I think I'm gonna go with this easy one. So, let's go ahead and do sudo apt install hex. Uh, did edit. So I suspect this is enough. So hex edit, leave me alone. That is what I saw, isn't it? Yeah. So I've been working with um, forensics in the past, and I would say that. In the top of this file, we should have something called magic bytes or the header, as would be right here. Can I change these? Can I? Action, split, find, edit, copy, view. What if I type one? Oh, I could do that. So I can change the the things here, but see. So what we need to go ahead and do is to say like file magic header png and then we get a list of file signatures I'm gonna go ahead and look for png and do we have more of them because sometimes we do what we have here is the let me just pull up the actual tuna where is it Let's show this. What it should be is 8950 It seems like, you know, if you look at this, the last A0A1, A0A1, DO, it looks like it's been altered. So, what about if you just Altered by 89, 50, 4E, 47, 0D, 
zero a one a one. So let's go ahead and save that. Save changes. I said save. God damn it. Did it work? Oh. I may have hit some uh, hex edits. Uh, leave me alone. Yeah, it's thing worked. Okay, so let's go ahead and do quit. And then now we're gonna do the same test as before. We're gonna do, oh, it changed. You see that? Just by looking at the thumbnail, it changed. So, I don't know what to say, but if that is the password, let's just not leave anything out of the, you know, Let's try and do SSH one more time. And it's gonna be Lee, Lee, Lee something, you know. Um, if, this, if this is the password. <laughs> 10, 10, 25, 20, 4, 2, 1. Password. No. No. That's not the password. Oh. I'm not thinking. Of course, not that we're going to do. We're going to do stick hide extract SFAA. Password root data to ss.zip. So unzip ss.zip inflating password and shadow file. Cat password. This is your visa. Small node. Meet a human. Okay, 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 okay. I think we have it. I think we have the. F uh, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and say this one and this one, and that's gonna be meet a. Uh, is this is is this H? Let's go ahead and try one more time. Okay, S S H, and then let's do. Meet a human. No. Uh, oh. Okay. We also have another name. A code word. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this. So let's say. Vg. Lande, give it please. Vg, Vg Lande. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like that we missed something, you know. Vigilante should be the username. Liang Xu, that's probably the real name. And he's wild about cartoon characters from Marvel. Let's go ahead and. What was in this file again? Meet a human. What about this file? Did we miss something? This is your visa to land on. To land on. Having spent. <sighs> land on. 
Was it? What was it again? They said we needed to. We needed to. Mm, oh, Mamma mia! Gonna find some more cartoon names now. It's f as a username or something. It would be really normal, I guess, for a fanboy. Uh, Arrowverse character land on fly. I didn't spell that at all. <clears throat> no, let me just say characters. We have a list of characters. Holy moly. Um. This is, this is, poof. What haven't we tried yet? What haven't we tried yet? We haven't, SSH not working. We have not tried FTP. Oh. What about that? What about that? What about that? So what if we do... What if we do... Clear FTP... Uh, 10, 10, what was it? 25, 241... And do we... Lande... And this is the password... Oh, that's what we did already. I'm stupid. Um, do we have another one we can try? Meet a human. For, is it that one maybe? Login failed. Let's uh, exit. Um, um, let's just see. Um, okay. Do we have another one we can try? VM view. SSH. Wouldn't look like it. Let's go ahead and do Vigilante one more time. Maybe I missed something there. Just. Let's look, is there anything more inside of other user? Okay. Let me just have a look at that. It's called hidden, so let's do cat other user cat other other user. Holy moly. <clears throat> now we got a lot of Slade Wilson was sixteen years old. Yeah. That's a lot of names. Oh, mama mia. Slade. Let's just, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I just try stuff now. So, FTP, Slade, I guess. No. <clears throat> Was it capitalized? Late. No. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna just try stuff now until I hit something because I'm pretty sure that the slate password. I'm pretty sure this is probably not gonna work. Let's just try it. Uh, 
Ooh. Oh. Okay, finally. Finally, finally, finally. We got something. So, um, I was the total coincidence here. Slate. Slate, slate. Is that a. Slate? Let me just have to. Look at it. Slate Wilson. Death. Death stroke. All right, so this guy is, is, is a whatever death look. I have I have access. I'm happy. Oh, thank you. Cat user. We have our first flag. People, whatever, blah blah. blah. Let's take this. Copy selection. Go ahead and put it in here. Let, let's answer the question. By the way, what is the directory found? Twenty one hundred. Wasn't it true? What is the name of the file you? Green arrow dot ticket. What is the FTP password? Nope. FTP password. Wasn't it like this? Some weird stuff. Good. What is the SSH password? Meter SSH. No. What's the What's the file name with it? Oh, sorry. Uh, was it AAJPG? What was that the name? The file name. Oh, shade. Was it like shadow? For shadow? Yeah, it was. Now I need to get the root flag. It's a long one. Okay, happy me. Let's go ahead and say we have root. We do not have root. Let's say sudo dash l. And we need to put in the password for slate. We do that. Happy me. We can do execute this one as root. Um, it does say password. But is it with? My password, or oh, let's let's go to GFO's bins, the mo number one perfect site to find binary execution to get uh, privilege escalation, and we do have something. So let's just go ahead and do do this. Is that it? That was far too easy. Sorry. And death stroke. <laughs> it is so nerdy the room. It's hard to just stay in this. So alright guys. Um this was one of the one of the I guess more interesting little nerdy rooms require you to know a lot of knowledge about, you know, Marvel and stuff like that. I would say that is it normal you find stuff like that in, in reality? You know, in reality, most IT guys are nerds, I guess. And nerd is anything that, you know, anyone who's interested in something, nerd is not negative, it's positive. It means you have a, a vibe for something, you're interested in something. So I would say, yeah, it's um, probably not a bad idea. Um, yeah, so I would like to say that this room was it took me an hour ish to do it. Our video is up to I have another other screen here with notes and some recording stuff and looking at some time here and there. Forty four minutes, so I've been pausing it for fifteen minutes totally would seem. Uh while doing something, waiting for scans or whatever. I think it's a very interesting room. I liked it. I hope you liked it too. Hope you liked my video. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you do so. Also, like my video if you do like to do that or mention something in a comment. I'm gonna get back to you. Bye.